All right, we are diving into Eternity, or Eternity, however you say it, for the RTX 4070 Ti. We are going to be using G minor for the minor. <clears throat> and as for the pool, don't really have much to choose from, so we're using two miners. And we are mining through an exchange, which I do not recommend doing, just doing it for this video. But we are using ProBit. Um, as for the memory... It should be Micron for the majority of the 40 series. Everything except for the RTX 4060, I believe, is Micron. 4060, I believe, is Hynix. Now for the power draw at the moment, getting <clears throat> about 20 to 21 watts. And at the wall, getting about 160 watts, so not including the GPU at the moment. Uh, it's about 140 watts for the whole entire system, not including the GPU. So, besides that, let us start this on up. Now, for the actual hash rate with uh, <clears throat> no recording monitors off and just minor and afterburner up, I was getting a hash rate of... 12.96 to 12.97 at a power draw of 218 watts to 219 watts reported on the software and at the wall I am currently getting 333 watts to 338 watts at the wall this should give us an efficiency of 59.18 to 59.22 for the efficiency stock settings. <clears throat> now let us head us rah, let us head on over into the thermals. Right now it is currently 68 Fahrenheit in my home, and I believe yeah 53 Fahrenheit outside. So we are getting a temperature of 52 to 53 C with a memory junction temperature of 66 or 64 to 66 C and a hot spot of looks like 57 to I think that was 63 C. So a little warm, not all too bad. Anywho. Let's go ahead and close this real quick. So, time for the overclock. So, we're going to head on over to Afterburner. We're going to go ahead and power limit it to 60%. Nothing on the core. Apparently, I guess, core doesn't really affect eternity. So, leave that pretty much empty. And then we're going to basically max out the memory clock plus 2000 go ahead and verify and go ahead and reopen her on up so with this overclock i was getting 13.50 to 13.52 with a power draw of 170 watts or anywhere from well Kind of fluctuated a little bit 169 to 170 watts on the software and then at the wall currently i am getting 292 to 297 at the wall this should give us an actual efficiency of 79.41 to 79.53 for the efficiency and then the thermals should have come down a little bit. Come on, there we go. So temperature is 46 to 48 C with a memory junction temperature of 68 C and a hot spot of 51 to 52 C. So 
came down on the thermals a little bit, but the memory junction temperature is up to C. But uh, there will be a link down in the description of this same overclock with the actual hash rate. But uh, besides that, uh, thank you for watching, and that's pretty much it.